felicitations, O denizens of the web! I'm Dr. Cranium, here to welcome you to Season 2 of the Jigsaw Intertron Video Show Thing! I say the Jigsaw Video Show Intertron... The Jigsaw Intertron Video... Where's the title card? Milton! Yeah, Dr. Cranium. I'm doing the intro for the Season 2 opener, and I can't fail to notice the lack of a title card. Oh yeah, I got a little swamped with the rant that I'm doing a little bit later in the show, so I gave the title card to Lump. To Lump? Yeah, to Lump. Go yell at him. Never yelled at Lump before. Try it out, you might enjoy it. Oh, alright. Lump! Uh, where the frack is my fracking title card? Dr. K? What? Uh, what the heck is frack? What do you mean? Is that you trying to swear? Fuck off! Squiddly boop! Lump! Uh, title card! Uh, well, hurry it up! La, la, la. And quit making excuses, Dr. K! What? Uh, are you ready for my segment yet, or do you want to keep filming your little breakdown? Filming? My little break? What do you mean? You're still filming. I am? Yeah, look. Yeah, um. Oh, right. Hello. Um, now Will Milton will have a little rant thing about Valentine's Day or something. So it all goes back to ancient Rome when February was the last month of the year and it was a time of purification and preparation for spring. This brings us to a fertility ritual called Lupercalia, which happened every year on February 15th. Some guys would come out of a cave and they would sacrifice two male goats and a dog. Then they'd cut the skins off of these things, they'd wear the skins like legs and thongs and they'd look like satyrs, and then they'd make little whips out of the skins. And they'd run around the city whipping all the women. For some reason they thought that this would bring them fertility and they would make them have less pain during childbirth. Anyway. Somehow along the line, they got this idea to add to the ritual that you put your name into a big pile and then the guys would draw a name and the girls would draw a name and then everyone would go off and be fertile together. So it was an ancient Roman key party, essentially. And uh, when the Roman Empire became Christian, they didn't like that all that much. So, so Pope Palacius, in 495 or so, decided that Lupercalia was no longer allowed. But he had to replace the holiday with something else, so he gave them a feast day on February 14th for some guy that may or may not have existed named Valentine. Skip ahead to Geoffrey Chaucer. He wrote Parliament of Fools in 1382. He makes the first reference in it to St. Valentine's Day in a romantic context. Unfortunately, because he was writing the poem for the anniversary of King Richard II and Queen Anne, whose marriage was on May 2nd, and uh, there's a feast day for a different Valentine on May 2nd, it was probably referring to that one. But everyone liked the February 14th one, so they ran with it. Anyway, skip ahead 1415 on St. Valentine. The first Valentine gets sent by Charles Charles Duke of Orleans to his wife, sends her from prison. Go for a little bit more to America! Yay, we're in America now! It's the 19th century and everyone loves this whole thing called Valentine's Day. In England it's been huge. And then we get to Worcester, Massachusetts, where Esther Howland, in 1847, makes the first mass-produced Valentine's Day cards. She loved the ones from England, so she decided to make her own. And make them for everybody! So, uh, that was the first, uh, it was Worcester, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, 1876, A.G. Bell, that's Alexander Graham Bell, he gives the worst Valentine in the world by filing a telephone patent because, uh, well, Antonio Meucci, well, he'd been waiting for his patent to be approved for a long time. He couldn't really afford the application fee, so he got screwed on Valentine's Day. Anyway, 1969, everybody gets a little bit weird because the Catholic Church takes away Valentine's Day. That's right! The Catholic Church in 1969 decided that St. Valentine's Day feast on February 14th made no sense when they had it on May 2nd as well. So, that year, it stopped being St. Valentine's and just became Valentine's Day. And uh, February 14th is still St. Cyril's Day, though. It's the Feast of St. Cyril. So, uh, I hope you all I'll get lots of cereals. We're going to give you a little cereal right now, and uh, it's in form of a song from Jones right now called Wishes. Yay! I wish we met a day before I met you So I could have worn a different hat I remember you sitting in the corner I remember me Picking dust balls off my hat Just because I want you in my arms, dear Doesn't mean I won't still be a grouch Just because I want you in my bed, dear 
Doesn't mean I won't sleep on the couch I wish that I knew how to garden So I could bring you flowers every day song I would say. Oh, oh, Lump, Lump, you've got the card ready. Uh, hold it to the screen. Uh, really need to teach you Photoshop.